Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before. This is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. Bennett, it is the Ramble. Uh, we had some drumming going on in there. Uh, and we're here until uh, midnight Eastern Daylight Time, then we'll be taken over by the intersection with Jack and Amy, or Amy and Jack, or Jack, or Amy, or just uh, uh, some guy with a really raspy voice calling them. Anyway, listen, ladies and gentlemen, who the fuck do we have here? It's Friday, it's Friday, da 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 Do that again, you're... When you did that, this was flashing on the screen. No, but it's flashing on the screen when you do that. Now? No, just when you tap it, uh, it, do that, tap it again. Look at that, look at the on the air sign. Mine doesn't do it, let's see if I do it. No, it doesn't do it when I do it. So, oh, well. you know, I take every other Friday off, yeah. and that's like, like my my mental health day. Yeah. But I try to put doctor's appointments and everything. So, I went to the gym. Oh, by the way, this is, this is a story on how old she's getting, It's true. And it's it's yes. really true. If I didn't realize it, I definitely realized it today. Mm-hmm. So, I went to the gym, and I finished, and my appointment with the doctor was 1030. I wasn't allowed to have anything to eat because they were taking blood. By the way, uh, may I also add, this is an old person's story. So all you young people, just bear uh, with me. I a think second. this is anybody's story. Okay. So I figure, well, let me go to the doctor, get the blood taken. I'll go out and get some breakfast. Look directly and then, into the camera and then when you're come telling back, them the story. And then come back for my 1030 appointment. So I go into the doctor's office and they say, um, you don't have an appointment today. Your appointment's in two weeks. And here I fasted, and I and and I was ready for my doctor's appointment. I had the time, and I was on the wrong date. So I went and treated myself to a nice breakfast at Sarah Beth's. A nice breakfast at Sarah, Sarah Beth's. Beth's. What what is Sarah Beth's? Sarah Beth's a great little restaurant around New York. They have about four or five of them. Mm-hmm. And so this is us together. And it's Friday. It is the most miserable half hour of, of her the, life. Can you imagine, though, showing up at the doctor's office? I said, well, at least take the blood. She said, I can't, because the doctor writes the blood orders the night before for his patients the next day. I have to make a yearly, my yearly appointment with our... Well, this is my yearly for my thyroid doctor. Well, this, but I'm, I'm worried about my, PA, my PSA, which you've went been, down, by the way. You've been worried about it for the last two years, Alex. I've been worrying about you it forever. You worry it from the day after you see the doctor. Yeah. So. To the next time. Well, yeah, because I'm being terrorized by my urologist. You're allowing it to happen. You know, I mean, I'm still not in the area where at my age it's a problem. You know, 2.5 and... Then it's what fine. the you fuck know, are you worrying about? And it went down from about. 2.8. So. Then why are you worried about this bullshit? Uh, because I'm getting, I don't want to get my prostate removed. You're who knows, not. Who knows when I'll need it? You're not, and you won't need it. Mm. I don't know, you know. It's yeah. going to sod like, like everything else. <laughs> no, stop it. Doctors, let me turn on the air conditioner. It's, gonna, it's, getting, it's getting clammy. Clammy in here. Anyway, uh, yeah, now they can hear it because there are two microphones, and you can you can kind of hear it. Hear it in the background. It's ten oh nine, Alex. Yeah, you hear it there. What? Um, it's ten oh nine. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You have till ten thirty. <laughs> I'm just. It's never too early. <laughs> no, I, I hate my I hate my I hate every urologist I've ever had. Now this one is nice. He has a nice bedroom bedside manner. However, the problem is he wants to see me every six months so he can make some extra money. And if that's the case, maybe he's going to want to remove my prostate. This is the lead into Alex's update on his ales and, and I, I don't have any real. Hi, Ann. I have a bad tooth and that's about it. Really? I mean, I, I sat down, I thought about it and I said to myself, 
you know, I should not be complaining about my health. Then what the fuck are you doing complaining about your health all I'm the not time? Complaining about and I'm my the health. one that has to I'm hear it. I'm telling you that I'm afraid to go to the doctor because of the PSA test. You're afraid of everything. Just do it. It may go down the last time it went down. But yeah. nobody hears the complaining except me. Well, because you live with me. It's your job. Well, it's not my it's job. job. I didn't s- sign up was, for that. Listen, was I a hypochondriac before you married me? Yes. Okay, I'm, then what makes you think I would suddenly clear up? <laughs> it just doesn't stop. Huh? It just doesn't what, stop. What do you mean it just doesn't stop? It doesn't stop. There's no end to your complaining. Yes, there is. No, there is. So anyway, listen, I, I started this thing. Uh, the news. Uh, uh, on Facebook, yeah. Your little news update. My, I think it's great. My news break, Alex Bennett's news break. and It's terrific. It, it gets like right now, let me see here, at this moment after eight hours of being up today. And actually there, there were two versions up today because I did a second one because the first one I fucked up on something. I had, had a wrong piece of information. So anyway... Uh, I uh, I go to the page, the Facebook page, and I bring it back here. Why don't you play it? No, I played it last night. Oh, I played it last night. They saw what it was like. Oh, oh, it, 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 people stopped doing it as soon as I went on the air here. But there were a, 159 there, and 22 on the old one. Did you put it on? It did on. you put it on YouTube? And then there's about another 20 so on. I d- I've done about 200 people within eight hours oh. on this particular. Did you put it on YouTube? Yeah, it's on YouTube, but YouTube uh, doesn't get a lot of people. Oh. Yeah. So, but anyway, so. That's great. It was 100, 159 people for crying out loud so far on this, and then you had 22. Let's see. And let's round it off to 20. <laughs> So 20 and, and uh, 160 is uh, two. Yeah, so over 200 people. That's uh, great. Well, Rhett That's terrific. Saw it in about eight hours. Stop it. More than listen to this program That's in a whole great. fucking day. I think that's so true. my point is, is there any reason why I should be doing this show every night? Well, this is the lead into to your, your news. <laughs> no, but I'm saying, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear you. You know? I mean, yeah, but I, I love your little show. I mean, I wish I could, uh, I wish I could, uh, 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 I, it, it, it could, I bet it's going to become bigger than this. Bet you. Because it's only like... Three th- minutes. Th- today it was eight minutes. Eight minutes? Eight minutes, yeah. I, I, the first time I did it came in at six and a half. And then I did a second time, a th- actually a third time. Every time I tried doing it, I fucked something up. And then when I was finally getting it right and I had a good one, right, the phone rings. <laughs> And it was shaky, and I I couldn't. I, there's no way to edit it together. Yes, yeah. you know. So I went back and redid it. So, you know, and every time I did it, it got better. So what am I? You know, no reason to complain. But anyway, so we're running these. I'm running them. I'm running them uh, Tuesday through Friday, just like I do this. But I don't know that I might not run a Monday through Friday. I mean, you know. Why not? Uh, well, yeah. I'll see. I don't know if I have um, the oomph to do it. The oomph to do it. Yeah. Uh, because usually somewhere I run a, a, a clip from the the, the previous show, mm-hmm. and uh, there it, it, there is a previous show if I do it Monday, but then Tuesday there would be no previous show. Okay, so I don't know what to do. I haven't decided yet, but people seem to like it. I like it. If you want to uh, go over there and uh, take a look at it? It's more interesting than this show is going to be. Well, it's the millennials and, and it's that don't have any, you know, can't listen to anything that's fast. two hours. It's, it's eight minutes. We uh, tell you the headlines of the day. I make a few comments about it. I show you a funny little picture, and then you're finished. And uh, then I, uh, you know, uh, sign off. I yeah, I sign off. So. But today I showed a picture of a, a gentleman who is the uh, Malaysian Prime Minister. I forgot to mention, he's known as a strong man because when he was Malaysian Prime Minister once before, uh, he was uh, supposedly a, you know. Mr. Strongman? Mr. A strong man, yeah. Not, not, but he got reelected. At but 90s? no, 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 no. Don't tell the rest oh. of the story. People have to go over there and look at it oh. to see. Uh, I make you guess how old this guy is. He just got elected to the Malaysia government, head of government. the pri- prime minister. Prime minister of the old Malaysian government. He's been the Malaysian prime minister before. Aren't they really bad there on, on civil rights? I would imagine. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine, but so are we. <laughs> well, that's true. You know, that's we, are, true. we are much better. Uh, so listen, I have an admission to make. 
it's a terrible admission. I really, you didn't know this. Uh oh. And it's Here something it I think you should know. Better tell me now. Uh, I paid Michael Cohn a million dollars to represent me to Donald Trump. So. <laughs> How's the suit going? Well, uh, huh? No, <laughs> actually, it was to try and make sure we win this suit with the apartment. You know, and I thought maybe Trump would, since he's in real estate, could get involved in it. Cohn just took my money, and we're out a million bucks, dear. He's trying for the uh, the World Cup for, with Mexico and Canada, and he said, I'll remember you if you don't vote for it. <laughs> what? He's saying to the countries out there, I'll remember it if you don't vote. Is that how he does business yeah. internationally? Yeah, yeah. He did that the same thing at the UN on something. But we'll remember you if you, you know, something. Yeah, we've got, we've got a list and we're making it twice. We've got this enemies list. <laughs> And if you're on it, you know, well, what he's claiming is that if people, if uh, our partners in Europe uh, do business with Iran, that he won't, you know, he'll put them on a blacklist or something. Oh, yeah, let him go try. But so they'll put us on a blacklist, and so we'll be so isolated that we won't be able to sell our shit anywhere. And, uh, you know. And the stuff that comes in will be so expensive. Be, be absolutely out of line, you know. So, I mean, his, oh boy. We're and now he's pushing for the Nobel Peace Prize. He's actually telling people he wants it. Yeah. And then he says, it'll be prize enough for me to get world peace. It's like he's, he's like lobbying for yeah. it. You know? It's, it's disgusting. And I'll remember who doesn't vote for me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like the Nobel Peace Prize was, uh, is, a, is something which you, you, you go out and lobby for, you know. Here, here's the thing. Obama shouldn't have gotten it. Well, to begin with, there are a lot of foreign countries. Right. That vote, vote. for it. Sure. And you know who else votes for it? Former Nobel Peace, Peace Prize, Prize winner. Yes. Uh, and do you think Obama's going to vote for him? <laughs> right, he won it. Do you think Malala is going <laughs> to vote for him? <laughs> <coughs> Do you think the Quakers are going to vote for him? <laughs> I don't think so. You know. What's become of this country? I mean, there's just no civil... There's no class. I'll tell you, the, right, worst, the no worst story that I had this morning on that show, that a little show I do, is that uh, uh, someone in the government, supposedly a woman, uh, and I can't remember what her name is, but they did, it's only suspected that it's her. Nobody knows who it was exactly. The one that that's going to quit or... No, that said about John McCain. Oh, that was somebody in his office. That don't worry about him uh, being he's against, dying. against your uh, whatever. Uh, he's dying. Yeah, against his uh, nomination for the yeah, CIA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry about that. He's dying. What? <laughs> you know. I mean, uh, absolutely no class no at class. all. No I mean, class. And the people that he's hired, I mean, everybody, every secretary that he's hired is just terrible yeah and then last night somebody on my show said uh, uh well pompeo went and met with that fat fuck Ch kim jong-un and i said have you looked at pompeo because <laughs> i saw a picture of pompeo next to kim jong-un and Sim Chim kim jong-un looks, looks like thin. looks like the other picture in one of those ads about you can lose weight <laughs> you know you know one thing i noticed about kim jong-un and it, it endears me to him his haircut Oh no, that mo haircut or whatever what, that is. What? That he's got. What? The no. smile? Uh, he always is smiling. That's because he's farting all the time. Well, it could be, <laughs> but no, but he smiles a lot, which it seems. I don't know if that's a phony smile. It doesn't it looks like a genuine smile? I wonder if he smiled when he electrocuted his uncle. He didn't electrocute his uncle. Oh, he did it with. Um, he did it with a cannon. Oh, you know, that's right. That's right. He stood him in a military range, and then he blew him to shreds with a cannon. Yeah. Supposedly. Well, I believe you it. You know. Now I don't know whether I believe this stuff. But it's a good story. You know, but it's a good story if true. Uh, and uh, anybody decide to go over and watch that instead of listen to us? Uh, yeah, some people did. A couple of them uh, went over and started looking at that. Okay. But uh, let me make sure we're on the air and everything like that. Yeah. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Ann, are you listening? Yes, I am. <laughs> How do you know, Ann? Why would Ann be listening? Because I told her I was on tonight. Yeah. Well, and you, so I told her to watch tonight. You shouldn't. Don't tell her to watch every night that this is no, a wonderful does, show. She doesn't. I mean, yeah. You know, people go to bed. 
Huh? People go to bed. Oh, people go to bed. Oh, well, fuck them. <laughs> you know, I, I, listen, I'm thinking of dumping this show and going to my uh, my my uh, my eight-minute eight format, which I hope I can get down to like three minutes. Well, it's what the millennials are, can deal yeah, with. They yeah. can't handle two hours, I don't think. I mean, if I, I could tur turn out as ten minutes, put commercials on either end of it, <laughs> you know? Make a little bit of money and not have to go through the shit I go through here every night. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. But then I wouldn't have that little segment about this happened last night with the exactly. Citizens panel. It's 1021. Can I roll over? No, not even close. <laughs> so how have you been annoying me lately? Nothing. I've been very good. I took you out to dinner. You took me out to dinner. I thought we would never get served. I mean, that noisy two guys. We go to this place. It's called Harlem Tavern. And it's, it's a tavern. It's a sports bar. Yeah. It's a sports Loud. bar. Loud. And they do a business. I can't believe it's We huge. went in at like 5.30 and it, it was, was packed. packed. Just packed. And uh, so we went in there. We got some food. And uh, it took them forever to get us the food. It took them forever to get us. I didn't get any dressing. So I asked for dressing. And, and about a half hour later, I had my fucking dressing. And we always swear we're never going to go back there. But the food isn't bad. It's not good. No, but it's, it's not, not bad. Good. It's, it's not, not bad. good, Alex. I'll tell you what was bad was that chicken place we went to. Cross Street. Yeah. Yeah, that, that went bad. This was a chicken sh shack kind of thing. Owned by uh, the same guy. That owns... Uh, 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 the one on 125th. Yeah. Next to the shade right. that we go to. Supposedly a world-class restaurant. I wasn't that crazy about that well, place. The, the last, no, we were crazy about all the meals we went there, except one time we went on a Valentine's Day, which was a big mistake. Yeah. That was a big mistake. And we haven't been back since, no, so no. we should go back. Uh, uh, oh, that one, yeah. But anyway, they, he, he, he bought this chicken he owned place. that one. And we went to the chicken place, and it was terrific. The chicken was terrific. And it was, oh, yeah. Corn, yummy. Cajun uh, corn. Oh, yeah, just wonderful. So uh, one night we said... Uh, so then we didn't go for a while. Yeah, and then we said, uh, hey, let's go to the chicken place. Yeah. Sure, that'd be great. We go to the chicken place. It sucked. sucked. It just sucked. It's terrible. It, it's called, what, uh, urban chicken or something. I don't know. But I, I really, you know, I was, I felt, I felt terrible about that, you know. So I got nothing else to talk about. Neither do I. So let me roll I, over. I know. I wish I had some kind of complaint about you. No, just sit there. Do not move over. Do not move <laughs> over. I have to kick her with my foot. Uh, let me see here. What does piss me off about? Well, you have toothpaste all over your keyboard. So, what do you mean so? You, one day you're going to say, my keyboard isn't working. Keep, well, maybe it's because it's got toothpaste you in it. toothpicks all over the place. Yeah, I wish we could show your table and the way you drool toothpaste onto the table. Can't you clean up behind yourself? I clean up behind myself. I'm going to bed. Huh? I'm going to Why bed. Why do you have to dro drool all over the table? <laughs> I'm going to bed. Even when I use a toothbrush here and and do it here, I don't drool stuff all <laughs> over the, all over the counter. Do you not know how to use mouth utensils? It's in the dark and it's about four o'clock in the morning. And, you know, I don't well, get then it. don't brush your teeth. Well, I do. Or, brush or go in and do it over the sink. No, I got to. Why brush. can't you do do it over the sink? I have to check my my. Because mail. it's too boring doing the brushing <laughs> the see, teeth. I have to see what's happening in the world. I see, and 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 then. Okay. No, no, yes. no, 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 no. <laughs> you still got five minutes. Okay. You talk. I'm gonna take a nap. The, oh, really? Mm -hmm. mm. So, uh, so you've been watching A Handmaid's Tale. Actually, it's very good this season. Really? Yes. Good. Oh, okay. Good. Have fun with it. It's it's the most depressing piece of shit. It's I've definitely ever seen. depressing, but it's very good. Uh, I uh, it, it it is a depressing depressing show. So I went in and I watched. Um, well, I, oh, you know what they did? I gotta tell you. I, I hate getting to really like television shows because if you if I really like them, they cancel them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What was the one? There was a couple that they canceled that we loved. The one about um, the the three men over forty. 
Oh, well, that was, an, that was a long time ago. Yeah, but they canceled yeah, it. Yeah, we loved a, it. Men of a certain men age. Of a certain age, that was great. They canceled that. Yeah. They canceled the one about the short people. Life is short. Life is short. That was terrific. No, I, but, but the reason was is people that complained. HBO got too many complaints. From and, short and people. And it, it was a dwarf making fun of dwarves. Yeah, it was great. It's still on HBO. You can see it. You know, but anyway, uh, and it, the jokes were never about him being short. He was just an asshole. But a short asshole. I mean, yeah, like, yeah. he had to climb the shelves to get to something. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, getting out of a car, just everything was just... I'm trying to remember what his name is. He was... Uh, he, he was in Ron Howard's <laughs> movie. Yeah, a movie about the dwarf. Uh, but anyway, so... Uh, and, he also, and he plays himself. Yeah, he plays himself. Very funny show. It's a very but, funny show. But no, they canceled my one of my... Favorite shows, a regular watch for me every week. Lucifer. Oh, I've never seen that. about the devil that comes to Earth. Oh, all um, right, or he comes up from to Earth uh -huh. to us, and because okay. he's don't don't let me just sit there while I talk okay, about this. Uh, uh, Lucifer, Lucifer, uh, uh, and he uh, he uh, meets this detective, and then he becomes an assistant to the detective, helping on cases. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff going on about him being the devil and so on. So, you know, that really looks terrible on screen. It looks like you're floating through the air. Anyway, floating. anyway, it's time for me to roll over you know, it is and time. open up the boards. No, it isn't time yet. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's to me. My tooth is bothering me. Today. Here we go. We just Do we, Are we doing a medical update? Anyway, so are they canceled Lucifer. And if they cancel Gotham, I'm going to be in... You won't even be able to console me. An agent, what, the Carter. One, well, Carter, that's a they, long time. Yeah, but they canceled that. Yeah, but that's like how many years ago? A couple, but this so is what? like right recent. Now. This is Lucifer. Something I was looking forward to another season of. Uh, so I hope somebody. It'd be nice if somebody picked it up. You know, it's a DC show, so Netflix should, will pick it up and call it a Netflix original. <laughs> no, it, it. Believe it or not, uh, I believe I have seen episodes of it online where uh, they're like the 1080p version and it says a Netflix original. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I know they did that with Star Trek. In Europe, Star Trek is, is, is Netflix. It's a Netflix original. Anyway. Um, Time to open. But I wish they would do something about it and, and take it to another network. Now the one I'm hoping gets renewed and they didn't announce that it wasn't going to be yet. Is? Gotham, Gotham. which I, I like a lot. But the show that I was watching that's really spectacular this week is Legion with Dan Carter from Downton Abbey, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a Marvel thing. And, but it's, it's very, it's very strange. Every episode is different and it's shot very weirdly. And tonight it said the director was John Cameron, and I don't know if it's the same John Cameron or whether it's the, there's another John Cameron that works in the business. That's a director? Uh, not as a director though. So I'm gonna go look it up and see if it was the same John hmm. Cameron. Okay. In fact, I could look that up right now while you sit there. No, it's 1028, I'm sorry. What? Oh, I'm sorry. oh, oh well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Just a go over there until I set things a up. A minute and a half till I go to sleep. Wait a minute, hold on a second. <laughs> I want to make a uh, transition I here. I want to be loved by you and nobody else. Okay, now you can come over. I want to be loved by Are you alone. <laughs> Oop, boop, be doo. Now I need to. I need to turn things on here. Get out of my way. Listen to the way he talks. Huh? Well, yeah, that's the way I talk. And you have the microphone all over there. Yeah. yeah. I, I know. I'm I have the microphone. It. I'm sharing. Not sharing the microphone because no, I don't like to share with others. All right, now my, my microphone is on, and people can uh, can give me a call, and okay. I will be happy to talk to them. You're gonna move that over so I can huh? share Wait a minute, hold on a second. That will go away, so why won't that go away? Oh, uh, well, uh, let me see here. Uh, no, it says, uh, no? Let me add to list. I don't wanna add that to the list. There's contacts, and then there's that, and then I go, like that, and it finally disappeared. Right. Okay, there we go. Okay. Now I've got we'll things going. Service. The lines are we open. Can what? Share that. What? Oh, the microphone. Oh, the microphone. Well, so if you want me to be part of your citizen panel. Well, just, just I'm, it, I'm taking up half the phone. Your uh, mic. You're taking up half the mic. Oh God, my 
Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No ailments discussion tonight. Why? Okay. Scott. Oh, here comes Scott Boddicker. Okay. By the way, it's a feel-free night tonight. Ah, so feel free. Even so cool. it's, it's, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a feel-free Hi, night Scott. tonight. So free night! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Everybody, everybody, <laughs> sing! It's a feel-free feel night. night. It's a feel-free night. night. It's a feel-free night. night. It's a feel-free night. 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 Well, how about that other guy, SG? He's he's kind of a filling. Phil Jr., isn't he? Uh, no, actually, Phil's the nice SG now. <laughs> who's, who's SG? What's the, SG? The guy who called last the night. one where you can only see the top of his yeah, head? He, yeah, I kept telling him, show your face. You know, and he's only, I oh, only see the top, the top of his head. <laughs> who is he? Who is he? SG. SG? He won't he? say where he's from. You I, know. Probably he's in our building. Yeah, so. He's... he's He's right behind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't want to put him down, though. I don't mind if he no, calls yes, he, again. He, 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 you know, he brings different at their uh, flavor. Yes. You know, yeah. you got to give him that. And you need that. Yeah. Yeah. Talk yeah, into yeah. the mic. We all can't well, drink. how can I talk into the mic when you keep it all the way over on your what side? What do you mean? I'm as far from it as you are. There we go. Oh, <laughs> Bye, Mom and Dad. <laughs> Wait a minute. Here comes John Perulis. Um, uh. Let me see if we get a the picture. Whoa. Of there, Whoa. We there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Hello, John. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, hi. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, uh, hey, I like Phil. I'm, I got a date with Phil, too. So. Our Phil? Phil Free? Our Phil. Phil. Nobody says they, you know, you know we don't, none of us say we don't like Phil. But we it's hate a his we don't like But politics. it's a filthy night. Yeah. We find his politics absolutely repugnant, and we feel guilty about liking him in spite of it. Right. It's true. Hey, well, what do you think? What do you think of Trump? There, uh, here's SG. <laughs> here's that SG Jeff once doing again. SG. <laughs> Jeff is doing hey. SG. <laughs> yeah. It could be like that guy on uh, like a home improvement behind the fence, you know? It's, it's the Kilroy Was Here show. <laughs> See, all of a sudden we're losing a lot of people. Why is that? Because uh -oh. we're not arguing. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess not. So anyway. Maybe they're Phil fans. Could be. Could be. Well, as Alex would say, fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck them if they can't take a joke. <laughs> so how are you guys tonight uh, uh uh scott how are you i just got back from uh fayetteville arkansas i had to drive up and get my daughter from college yeah it's like i i i, I uh, measured it out it's like driving from new york to richmond virginia yeah and having lunch and then driving back now, how far wow, how would it take? A long, it would take a, a while to get to Richmond, long Virginia. Time. Yeah, I mean, imagine with no traffic or whatever. I mean, it'd be worse with the traffic, obviously. But well, it's about four the same hours number from miles. New York to DC, and then you have to add on another four or five yeah, hours. Yeah. yeah, the DC was short. It was yeah. short going from New York to DC yeah, and driving but, back. But yeah, yeah, uh, yeah how, but it's about the same amount of time. How uh, uh, how so? How long how long did it take you to get up there and get back? Well, I, I left at uh, 8, and I got back about 8.30, so 12 and a half hours. Wow. So, That's with a, like an hour and a half up there, moving her stuff in and out of the car and That's over a to a storage day. area. That's a long day. You're such a good dad. Ah, but I got my beer. <laughs> Why did you just tell her, take the bus, leave me alone? <laughs> you got too much crap. Really? She'd come in, shut the door because I was talking too loud. She's out there watching TV now. But anyway. Yeah, but now let me ask you a question: What? Why did she have to bring all this stuff back? Because at the end of the year, you can't leave your stuff there. Right, right. Uh, she she'll be moving to a, a a different. She she's moving from the sorority to uh, a, an apartment for senior year. So. Oh, I see. And and who's paying for that apartment? Oh, who do you think? <laughs> you are. Oh, I. <laughs> Well, put it on Gabnet's tab, okay? Yeah, Gab bucks. Gab bucks. Gabnet there. bucks. They're 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 usable everywhere. Gabnet yeah. coins. Yeah. Yeah. Bitcoin. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Gab coin. Gab coins. Gab coins. 
Yeah. But anyway, it was a it was a nice day. Uh, a little windy driving, but uh, that's nice. I'm, I lived through it, so well, I'm happy. I, I, I got a gripe to her. You know those eye drops you put in my eyes? Yeah. Now my eyes are burning. Well, I, I, <laughs> Sorry, I, I know I shouldn't have laughed, but I think that's It's dry eye stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, we've been having... How many here have been having... You've having... Everybody's having pollen Allergies, problems. Allergies, pollen right now is horrible. Pollen is... I just have night. political say problems. Yeah, say Thank good God she's saying good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good night. The, the pollen... The pollen in Texas is already passed. We're we're full into you know full on. About the tree in New it's much better. All the all the trees have done their stuff and we're getting into full green here. What replaces the pollen? All of a sudden we have like nobody. Other, people are hanging up like crazy and not watching the show. What what's what's going wrong here? Oh. We haven't started talking about Trump and well, that asshole statement he said that. Uh, 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 John McCain was uh, disapproving of the Gina Aspel no, CIA no. appointment because he was going to die anyway, but, but, so it didn't but, but, matter. But, 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 Can you Trump, believe that? What a wait a minute, he asshole. said that? Trump didn't. Yeah. No, Trump yeah. did not say that. Yeah. No, Trump didn't say it. One of his people said it. This woman, I can't remember her name. Oh, now. oh, uh, okay. It wasn't Trump. See now, you become the fake news. My God. <laughs> you know. He, he could have said it. He's pro he probably did say it. You know, and people, then his people, minion people just saying, repeated well, it. How people are putting it is he didn't say it, but he created an atmosphere that made it possible for somebody to say it. Anybody yeah. that could openly say about grabbing a woman's pussy is certainly capable of saying McCain is going to die anyway. So. Yeah, but that was what this woman <laughs> said. It was supposedly at some kind of meeting they were all having, and... She said, well, don't worry about the fact that he doesn't like your nominee for the Supreme Court. Uh, he's going to die anyway. Oh, oh, yeah, like that's Trump. Huh? That was Trump's decision, you know? Yeah. I mean, he's incapable of knowing who uh, to nominate for anything. You know, someone just whispers in his ear. It's such an idiot. Yeah. Right, right. Hello, Patrick. <laughs> Hello, Patrick. <laughs> that was a nice okay. wave. Yeah, but uh, boy, yeah, last night's show was a little uh, contentious, wasn't it? And we weren't even really talking was, about Trump. What What, what were you going to say, Jeff? It was contentious. Yeah. Um, I, missed, I didn't even. I didn't even listen to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I I was at a political event in Marin where there was plenty of uh, you know intense. Uh, stuff going on yeah nothing like watching marin democrats fight each other really oh that, yeah that's why we never win nasty. is because we never come to a consensus yeah you know, the trouble with democrats is we sit around all the time trying to show how smart we are over the next guy but uh yes patrick one of the one of the more intelligent comments i had heard and i mean obviously i would think it's intelligent anyway because it came from a conservative mm -hmm. but um some advice that was given to some Democrats were all of the vitriol and hatred and time spent hating Trump yeah. may backfire on the Democrats the same way as during Obama's first term, all of the Republicans bitching and moaning and, and carrying on backfired on the Republicans and what happened? Well, you know something, though, i got to tell you, that no matter who's in office, the opposite people are going to bitch and moan. There's no question about it. That comes with the territory. I mean, the extent that many Republicans absolutely despise Obama and the absolute vitriol and hatred there is for Trump may end up backfiring. Yeah. And that, and that was proven with Obama because... I mean, I wasn't in that camp, but I, I knew people that just couldn't stand him at all. There was nothing good, and it's the same with Trump. Nobody will give him a break on anything, and, you know, they're putting out, we want him to die, can't wait for him to die, that sort of shit. It might backfire, so. Well, I'll tell I, you, I, 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 I don't want him to die. I just want him to get some mental help. Because I feel he's got some sort of brain issue going on. I really do. I mean, he's just not 
the way he presents himself and his skills and everything, he's he's not all present, I don't think. Well, to begin with, he's thin-skinned. And you can't be a president or a politician and be thin-skinned. No. Yeah. It's the wrong job. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, you don't have to be... Th you can be thin-skinned if you're the host of The Apprentice. Uh, <laughs> you know, but when you're the president of the United States, different story. Because people are going to always be critical of you. The opposite party is always going to be critical of you. And what you do... Obama was very good at this. Obama never reacted. Obama right. just went, eh, that comes with the territory, you know. Every I mean, president prior to Trump. What? Every president did. Bush, Clinton, Bush, Reagan, Carter. They all handled it well from, from the opposite. End. Maybe Nixon was a little different, but I don't ever remember George W. Bush or Clinton um, or H.W. Uh, Bush or Reagan ever whining and pissing and moaning. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Clint, Bill Clinton did get into it with Amy Goodman towards the uh, tail end of uh, his administration. Uh, well, he, good, uh, for, good for she him. Invited, I can't stand Amy Goodman. Yeah, she, she's a fucking idiot, so I'd get into it with her too. So. Well, she's, she's smart. I, I wouldn't call her an idiot, but she's compromised and she's a sellout. Which is worse than being an idiot. How she well, how she compromised? Same thought. Wait a minute. How she compromised in a cell lot? Uh, she uh, has been spinning favorable news uh, about uh, U.S. Uh, attacks and U.S. involvement in Syria, mm -hmm. which is really uh, disappointing. Uh, she never fully. Uh, Amy Goodman, uh, in case people don't know, is. Somebody that people don't know. Go ahead. I don't know who he is. She, who, who, no, she, 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 she. She. Yeah, I mean, sorry. De Democracy Now. She's on, uh, started off on radio in WBAI in New York and uh, quickly went to it cable is, television. It is, I think, and I can say this without equivocation because I have watched a lot of it from time to time in my life, mm. the most boring piece of television on the air today. <laughs> well... I mean, I don't and and might I add, incredibly pretentious. Pret I, when I was watching, I haven't watched it in a while. I I just don't watch it anymore. Uh, but when I was watching it, I there were plenty of uh, shows that I would disagree with you that of, uh, about that characterization of the show. Uh, you know, I mean, she puts people on the air that just will will not get exposure on the mainstream, and right. I think, I think she's still doing that to some extent. But and, and there's probably uh, a good, probably good reason for that, you know. Yeah, I, would I say. didn't even know she's on anymore. Yeah, yeah. From her. By the years. by the way, I'm going to position myself in a different place on the screen for a change, right in the middle. <laughs> Uh, okay. I can't the, until, see until somebody calls, then I'm going to have to move it again. But yes, Patrick. So what was the big uh, deal last night with all the contention? So well, I didn't have to go back we, and listen to the whole damn thing. Well, <laughs> well, uh, listen to my five-minute show. I've got some of it on the the short show. The uh, did, go, did, did Ray page. did Ray Renati leave in protest? He, he actually just said, "I I can't take this," and he hung up. That's wow. what I. Uh, what did you say, Patrick? It, that's what I was, that, I guess that's what I was getting at because I've been on shows where either Scott has left because he doesn't want to end up losing his mind or somebody yeah. else has yeah. found out. So was it like that? I mean, who who was, was Phil on? Uh, Phil yeah. was on, and Phil was uh, Phil was a breath of fresh air last night, actually. <laughs> Oh, so it must have been the headless guy that tipped off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was. Oh, uh, it was. Okay. Uh, Bill was the gentleman. His name was SG. Uh, yeah. That's what he goes by. I wouldn't say where he was from. He's called the show before. He's uh, and he. Uh, yeah, he. It was about immigrants and stuff, and it just got. Oh, he just yeah. got. He started going crazy. I mean, I. You know, I would have the guy on again. I wouldn't ban him from the show or anything. I think he was terrific. You know, in that respect. But man, not likable at all. 
<laughs> he was he was uh, filibustering uh, like the whole show. He, he, Alex was trying to ask a question. He just keep reading stats and numbers and figures and stuff. Oh, and, yeah. And Ray couldn't get anything in. And Jeff just kind of Jeff. I was listening. I wasn't on, but I was. I was just yeah. yeah. Jeff was just like whoa. <laughs> just you know, quiet. there's one thing Skype hasn't installed in Skype, and I wish they would. By the way, nobody's watching the show tonight. This is amazing. It's 20, Twenty-two people. Twenty-three. 24 now. Yeah, 24. Yeah. Usually at the yeah. end of the night, that adds up to hundreds or so. But, you know, it. Uh, uh, I, I don't know why. Maybe they're all going over watching my 10-minute show or my 8-minute show. <laughs> a anyway, do you watch the 8-minute show, Patrick? Have you seen it? Um, Not, not. Uh, it's on my Facebook page. You not just go not today. It. But, yeah, I've, yeah. Um, I watched yesterday, and I thought it was funny to use my clip. From yeah. the other night yeah. with the orgasm, that that I found. <laughs> oh, it's pretty funny. But I I do like the I like the uh, the idea of the short clips yeah. as as a advertising tool for this show. Well, so far today I have 166 people, and then there were another 22 when I ran the first version of that. Uh, and then I had another like 23 or 24. So it's over 220 or so that have watched it uh, in the last uh, eight hours. Okay. And right now I got 24 people watching me. Fuck all of y'all. I'm doing short shows 25, from here on 25 here. just huh? came in. Another one. You know, I'm going to do short shows. The only reason I need this show now is to get a clip for that show. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, it's called click harvesting. Yeah, it was your. It was your, your, You were the main part of the clip the other night, uh, the first night that I did the. the Me? The, no, no, Patrick. Oh, Patrick. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, and it was it was fun. It was fun. Uh, uh, but anyway, so I, you know, uh, we'll we'll probably wind up doing that uh, uh, a lot more as time goes on, uh, but. Uh, so, uh, you know, I just think that uh, uh, the only thing that bothered me about last night is that I don't like the show to get terribly contentious. I don't want people to be insulting of other people, and I certainly feel bad when somebody feels compelled to hang up, okay? Because that's not what this show is about. People aren't supposed to get hurt or feel hurt. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. and uh I, I've always had that rule of mine in broadcasting, and I'll kid people. I'll say terrible things to people, kidding them. But I, if I ever feel that I'm hurting them, I will stop it immediately. It was like the time that years ago on, on Sirius XM when a guy by the name of Tony called me up <laughs> and told me that his aunt had died. And yeah. I said to him... I remember this. Well, I, I said to him as immediately as a, as a knee-jerk response for me, looking for comedy in everything that happens. When he said my aunt died, I went, well, I didn't like her anyway. <laughs> yes. Oh, no. Oh, God. And, now, wait a minute. Now, most people would maybe get a laugh out of that, and maybe it would lighten up their, 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 their feeling about it, right? No, he started crying. <laughs> oh. Now, wow. when you get wow. somebody who you kid yeah. who starts crying, who's the bad guy? Right. You know, who looks like the villain? <laughs> you can't look good in a situation like that. <laughs> and so Tony was, yeah, crying. Uh, first Jeff, he had his hand up, and then Patrick. Yeah. Well, I remember that, that, that time. And, <laughs> and, uh, I laughed. <laughs> While it was going on, of course, then he starts crying. Yeah, yeah, and when he started crying, I went, "Oh my God!" I just, I just, I just did the worst thing. I mean, I didn't care about his grandma, his aunt dying. I don't give a shit, right? It's not my aunt. I didn't know her, right? But uh, I was worried about the fact that when you get somebody crying because of something you just said, it makes you look so bad to the rest of the audience. You really look like shit, you know. So, uh, I, uh, hello, John Rockwell. God, we haven't seen you in a while. Let me, let me go to Patrick. He's got his hand up. Oh, we can let John say something first. Well, you know? no, he's fine. He, 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 he's fine. Okay, he's, now it's just like two stripes. There, there oh. we go. Now we go. He's got yeah. Um, 
think his mic is off. You're on mute, John. John, your mic isn't working. No, not yet. Well, here we go with a dozen more. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> You had the you had the headshot last night. Now you got the beard the shot. Beard only shot. Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> no, there we go. Wait a minute. Still haven't. Still can't hear John. Still can't hear Maybe. you, John. Everybody, do the mime for we can't hear you. He's got to unmute his mic. Is your mute, mic mic muted? No. Maybe restart. Either that, or you go into your into your preferences in uh, Skype. I'm gonna start jerking off if I keep seeing his beard. <laughs> yeah, oh, look. is is that what gets you going there, man? Is it a beard? Why do you think he has a beard? Thank you very much, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Unmute Mike. Yes. I got my hands. <laughs> all the paper last night dude, that was great i'll tell you here wait a minute listen to me can you hear me john can you hear me yes go into skype go into your preferences go into your tools i assume you're using uh uh windows right uh, it's a mac. is it a mac it's a mac. mac okay well go into your mac and go into your preferences whatever that's called on the mac i don't have my mac lit up here so i huh preferences is it preferences? Yeah, go over to preferences and then go over to audio and see maybe it switched the inputs or something. Oh, actually, on uh, well, on on Skype you're saying, or uh, there's actually an audio video settings. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. No. Well, we, we uh, Alex, you I know love what? this I is going to force. I love Americans with Disabilities Act is going to get on the show and and bitch. Because you should have someone doing sign language, you know, so when someone like that comes on, at least. Uh, well, it, what I think is so funny is when somebody, we say, we can't hear you, they start talking. <laughs> uh, no, can't hear you. Can't hear you. Why don't you, uh, why don't you reboot the machine? That might do it. I don't know. You know, what happens is, I'll tell you with Windows, what happened yesterday to me was Windows decides they're going to upgrade Windows, right? Oh, and they no. won't let you decide whether you want to or not. When you sign off, it will automatically, you know, uh, 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 install it. So uh, I, I put in the, the newest Windows, and I go back, and then I have to go back and change every fucking setting. <laughs> you know, my speakers weren't on, and I had to go into the thing that does the TV thing and change all of that, and change all the defaults on that. Uh, and it was it was terrible. It was just yeah. horrible. And and so you know, who knows if if he didn't upgrade something, and all of a sudden it changes all the. But he well, has he has a Mac, so that seems to not be the problem. Yes, Patrick. Well, um, getting back to. Uh, levity, you know, in situation like you had with Tony. Yeah. One of the discussions I had with somebody online um, today and yesterday was the comment Trump made when the uh, three hostages were brought back, mm -hmm. and he said uh, it's probably the biggest rating for 3 a.m. ever, and some people took offense to that humor and said it was inappropriate and my response was it was a little bit of levity even if you don't like trump it's a little bit of levity in a situation that's very tense and i took it personally funny because i stayed up to watch it and when he said it i chuckled to myself because there i am at it was 2 a.m uh, central time Waiting and watching this, and I thought, well, it, it's true. I mean, I'm watching it, so. You can't admit, though, Patrick, you're probably up jerking off anyway. Well, yeah. absolutely. Well, also, also, <laughs> Melania got up at uh, at two, at uh, at two o'clock in the morning, or probably she got up at ten and had to do her makeup. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, she had to go up and and go out to the airport with him as well, and 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 that's the most sex they've had. Uh, in in years, you know, is, it, is that because he's afraid of the dark or something? 
who knows what his problems are. But uh, it, it, the thing is, the thing that bothers me about that statement, Patrick, is he seems to rate, equate everything to ratings. It was like he's doing The Apprentice again. He thinks he's still doing The Apprentice, and everything he gets has got to have ratings associated with it. Who gives a shit? You know, no, Obama I, didn't get ratings uh, when he when he, he they didn't cover half the shit that Obama did because they didn't care. He wasn't making trouble. I get that. But um, and actually, it was Louise Zeitler, who you, you'll see, she'll comment on you. Yeah. Right. Thing. She, she she and I had the discussion. Yeah. And like I told her, I wouldn't spend one more second worrying about whether or not he said something. Because it's inconsequential, it, and and you're right, Alex. Everything seemed to be for rating for him. But you know what? Who gives a shit? I mean, the more time you spend worrying about little things like that, you miss the big picture on things that maybe are more important than a stupid statement. Well, I'm all for not mentioning him at all. You know, it, it just, am I being heard now? Yes, now you're being yeah. heard. Hey. Hey. No, I had I had to, I unplugged my my mic to do some other recording today. That's why. Oh, well, this is how you, uh -huh. this is how, this is how, this is how you drive a guy crazy. You're breaking up. Am I? No, no, no. He's kidding. Yeah, your picture's all hashy and everything. Oh, well, you know what I love it. Mean? What I love about right. Phil is if he isn't some, getting something, it's our fault. Like last night, my little <laughs> light didn't go on on Skype for him. And so, therefore, oh, oh. the whole world, I must be, must be me, you know. <laughs> uh, but anyway, hello, John. I haven't seen you in a while. Well, what, it's what? been, you know, it's been an eventful month. And I just haven't really, you know, I get, by about 10, 30, 11, I'm just like, I want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm tired. I had a lot of work recently, which is good because I need the money. Yeah. I was also had one day in the hospital because my, my heart Fuller came back, and they zapped me with uh, electroshock. Wait, were you interestingly here? Wait, enough, didn't you, yeah, interesting. Didn't, didn't you, uh, you didn't hear it? You didn't feel it because they knock you out. Did you, you know, call us since, since they did that? Or, or, uh, or I feel fine. If, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm going to see the electroshock woman in about two weeks. Just for an the update. The electroshock woman. Yeah, the electroshock yeah, girl. That's you know? awesome. <laughs> it's like it's like a Marvel superhero, electroshock woman, but. Uh, <laughs> They no, call but it's, her it's, it was, they it was call interesting because I was really worried about that. I think it was it like you know clear, boom, you know it's not. It's they put a pad on your on your front. They shave your head, your your they shave your chest, put a pad on the front, pad on the back, you know. Then they knock you out with the same uh, the propofol or whatever that propofil. killed Michael Jackson. Pro you know? Good yeah. good stuff. And next thing you know, they're like, "We're done." I'm like, "You're done." I don't even remember falling asleep. You know? yeah, right. So. Right. I, that worked pretty well. Well, that's, that's good. You know, it's amazing because I, I, I never feel well, as you know. I've always my, got a bad tooth. In my God's brain. waiting room, yeah. we know. Yeah, all of that. And and I, a couple of nights ago, I, I suddenly realized, I talk, first I was talking to my wife, the other ex-wife the other day. Mm -hmm. And on the show, she said, uh, you know, by this time, you've either got cancer or you've got a heart problem or whatever. That's why <laughs> old people need Medicare, blah, you know? blah, blah. And I went. I haven't had cancer and I haven't had a heart problem and uh, all I've got is some tingling in my toes and uh, a, a torn meniscus that's gotten better and a tooth that's bothered. I said, I don't really have those things that, you know, <laughs> knock on wood that people get. I mean, Good here I you. got a, and the other night I had a guy here in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. You can get, guess who he is. I won't tell you. Uh, uh, you know, we got John with his heart problems. We got Jeff with his, uh, uh, I don't know, he's Robo-Man now. I don't know what that thing is he's got in his chest. Uh, we had uh, uh, Kevin, who has to have his feet removed, the foot removed probably. What was there? was one other person with something wrong. And I went, you know something? I'm not doing bad. No. <laughs> no I no. can't complain. Really? Knock on wood. Really not bad at all. So I no, I mean, outside of the heart running faster than it should, everything else felt fine. So that's why I didn't really do anything for about two or three days, except I like in the morning, you think your heartbeat would be slower. Mine was going boom, 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 boom. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> now I've got to get. I went to my, my cardiologist and she li listened and said, I think we're sending you down to the emergency room. I think it might be a good idea. I'm like, okay. <laughs> and she said, she said to me, 
how do you feel? Do you feel short of breath or anything? He said, no, I don't feel fine. He said, well, when you get down to the emergency room, just to make sure they, they sign you in, say you're short of breath. <laughs> well, everybody go in, get your checkups, because quite frankly, like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I have enough trouble getting a citizen's panel without having some of you die on me. Oh, yeah. no, I'm not going to do that if I can help it. Yeah, you know, right. You know, yes, uh, I mean, I really, I feel fine. You know, it's great. Yeah. So, you know, generally, except that the uh, insurance company decided that the follow-up with my, with the emergency room doctor person that I worked with, that they don't want to cover it. So I'm going to well, have wait, to yell Wait, 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 why don't they want to cover it? Doesn't say. Uh, I think it's that because works. it's not my regular, um, it, this was somebody that works with my regular um, uh, cardiologist but it wasn't her. She was the well, one that was down in the emergency it, room and took over the case. Are you on and Medicare? Since I'm not, she's not in quote unquote my doctor. Are you on Maybe Medicare? They don't want to deal are, with it. Are you yeah. on Medicare? Yeah. Okay. Well, that should cover. It should cover any doctor that does anything to you. Am I right, Jeff? That's what I'm thinking. Unless she, you know, I don't. Jeff, I don't know. Jeff, well, I'm going to call. Knows about I mean, this kind they of sent stuff. me one of these denial of claim or something. So I'm going to call up, and they said you can call and and ask us about this. Uh, yeah, I'd like to. You yeah, know, right? A pat, I mean, because it's like three hundred and something bucks they want me to pay. Yeah. It's like no, 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 no. Now I didn't. I went to her because they wanted me to go a week after this event happened. You know, who, as a follow up. I'm thinking, well, that's a follow up. I mean, what, you know, they want to see that the, that the heart's not going weird again. And, uh, you know, how could that not be covered? So I don't know. Yeah. I'm even partially okay. covered. Patrick has his so, hand up. Oh, yeah. Go, Patrick. Yeah, I, I, I was going to say, I, I had, I forgot about this until John brought it up. Uh, probably about seven, eight years ago, where I was actually. I was taking a shit, and all of a sudden, my heart started to race, mm. and I got the chills, and the problem with, you know, Cripple Boy is I can't just hop off the shitter like everybody else, so... Right. and do anything. Yeah, you're, you're, you're stuck and there. I took me a little bit, got my wheelchair, and um, went out in, into the kitchen where my ex was, and I asked her if she wanted to play doctor. And she said, well, the kids are still here, you know. And I said, no, for real. That she was going to school to be a nurse. Mm. And yeah, my listen heart, to this, right. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt like my heart was coming out of my chest. Oh, wow. And, it oh. and I ended up going to the hospital, and I went septic. Mm. That, <laughs> what had happened Yike. is I was going septic, and so they they put me in. And my white count, now I, hmm. normal is 10, yeah. like 10,000, that, that normal. Mine was 22,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, not yeah. 10, and, they were um, going crazy, yeah. It, it was the weirdest, and I was afraid I was having like a heart attack or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I was relieved I, I went septic, even though I know. <laughs> Because that that thing. shows something that's yeah you know, that was more than just uh, it was uh, was it well, they was it uh, they call it uh, atrial flutter or, or fibril well it was fibrillation but mine was called flutter because it's consistent it doesn't it's not an erratic heartbeat it's a very fast consistent heartbeat that doesn't change you know when you lie down or you walk around or anything like that or barely change and they the last time a year and a half ago when I was in for like five or six days and they had they found all that fluid around my heart and all that. This time they didn't find any of that. I mean, the only problem that they could find was that the heartbeat was too fast. So they said, well, let's give you that drug that we gave you before, amiodarone, as, you know, the additional drug. That helped the last time. Well, it dropped my heartbeat from 140 to 120, but that didn't go much farther than that. And they said, well, you know, we'll, we'll keep you overnight, and then we're, when we get losing, you in and, and, and zap you, you know, I'm like, oh, good. We're, <laughs> we're losing me. viewers like crazy. You know oh, I know. I'm sorry. This you know, is fucking uh, boring. You we weren't where I was. That's you know, That was part of, that was last month. This month is just bit, finally a little bit busier than my usual. So, um, though you would love this, I think, uh, um, Alex, uh, I, have a, I had a guy come in today who has all sorts of, of real to real tapes from the fifties of like old Bob Hope radio and TV shows on, on audio tape. Mm -hmm. And also something that he had gotten from somebody at NBC radio where this guy had gone over 
uh, to the to the apartment of Ogden Nash, the poet, yeah. and had him read poetry, his poetry. And it was so much fun this afternoon because I love Ogden Nash. I was, I was one, when I was a kid, that was my favorite, one of my favorite funnier off-the-wall poems, poets. So it was just, you know, it was an interesting day. <laughs> you know? uh, I don't know if we're going to be here. I think he's going to try to find some, you know, college or something to donate all these old uh, radio and TV shows to. But uh, uh, I'm hoping that he'll say, well, you know, we'll donate it. But if you need them digitized, talk to Mr. Rockwell here. You know? <laughs> and he can do it for you because I didn't want to have him. He can't afford to pay me to do that. Hours and hours. So, yeah. Yeah. But it. Oh, they had uh, Myron Cohen interviewing Steve Allen instead of the other way around. I mean, this is I don't know where he got these from. Uh, some friends of his in the business back in the day and he's had them sitting in his basement for ever and ever in this, I, I, in this I think apartment I know why we now don't they, have an now they want to kick him out I think kick, I know why we I think I know why we don't have an audience here because what? you just referenced oh. about five people that, no, that nobody knows nobody <laughs> under the age of 50 knows who we're talking about okay sorry about I, I I bet you didn't know half of them right uh, uh Patrick because you are under 50. Well, I know Steve Allen. Yep. Yeah. yeah, but Myron Cohn? No. Nope. I know Myron Okay. <laughs> How about Henry Morgan? Ah, I knew him way too well. <laughs> he did a radio show at our at my studio for years. He's a friend. Uh, he's a, a ex a friend of mine's uh was his godfather. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh uh let me see here. What are the names well, did you name? Godfather. What are the names did you name? Let's see if Patrick uh, knows any of them. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, good. It's quiz time. Good. Let's go. Hey, I've been chatting with Renee. She's lurking. She's been oh, watching okay. the show. Come on, Renee. We we know oh, you're I'm lurking out Renee. there. Get on this damn show. Okay, quiz time. Let's go. Okay, no, but anyway, what were the, some of the names you were mentioning there of tapes that he had? Oh, they had. Well, uh, obviously, one that you would know, of course, everyone knows, is Jack Benny. These okay, guys you know Jack Benny, Benny, right? Benny, uh, yes. right Patrick, I, mean, all heard of him. Okay. I think they've all heard of him. Uh, though you don't know, they <laughs> may not have heard him. Yeah. You know, they might have heard of him, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, as I said, Ogden Nash, the poet. I mean, this is, okay, you know, he's a poet. Nash. Best known in the 40s and 50s. Ogden Nash. I don't remember him. But he was one of those, he, he, he was one of those guys that with a very off the wall it's sense of humor very, his, his very rhyming dry was like sense all of over humor the place. It was funny rhyming. as anything uh, it's my early did, favorite wasn't he the one that wrote men never make passes at women who wear glasses uh now i think he did a variation on it i thought dorothy parker did that one what was that know? dorothy parker do you know who dorothy parker was patrick here we go I'm See, see, I mean, well, all I'm talking about it is Mary the Dashiell Hammett. You know the you know the writer Dashiell Hammett. There's nothing. There's nothing wrong with Patrick. It's in, he's not. Uh, he's very, very intelligent, smart, uh, oh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. uh, urbane, and whatever you want. But he is. Uh, there are people of a he's certain age guy, who all. don't know some of the references we're making. I mean, this is the thing that bothers me about Jack's show. He's always making references about radio shows that even. His audience didn't hear. I mean, like you, Scott. Mm -hmm. Sometimes does he oh, yeah. say stuff the stuff you've never heard because you 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 were on that show a lot. I yeah, I haven't. You know, I mean, I haven't been. I may go on tonight. We'll see how how I feel. I'm sort of yeah. yawning in the corner. It's not because of your show. Just as oh, I've been no, tired. Oh no, good day. reason for you to, <laughs> listening, to yawn. Listening to Ogden Nash. Yeah, no, it was a. But um, my, my problem is I couldn't remember his name. I was at my local bar and I wanted to tell somebody about it, and I kept thinking. You know, like I, I was trying to think of the name See, of the poet. We're ruminating on like Ogden Nash. My mind, you know, the senior, the senior block. The there. people it's out like, there just scratching their head, just scratching their head, going, "Ogden fucking Nash, what?" I know. Okay, well, I was. <laughs> I was, you know. Now it's funny. I can't remember the name of the guy I thought it was, but you know, but it was e. one e. of those Cummings. things. I kept switching him around. Yes, yes you know. Patrick's got his hand up. Patrick. Yeah. But it, the difference between me and perhaps. A lot of other people is, I enjoy, if I don't know someone, or haven't heard of someone, I'm willing to be educated on it, or I may look it up later. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm always like that. I, I've, most of the people I, I hung out with as a kid mm -hmm. were my senior by 30 or 40 years. So, I mean, I would, 
it never bothered me. So, I mean, even though nobody that senior of me here, what the hell? I mean, it doesn't bother me. If it bothers other people in the audience, well, that's fine. But okay. me, I'm probably going to look up Ogden Nash just to see because I'm not familiar and I like poetry. Right. I'm on, I'm on a quote, quote site of him right now. This is the first thing they have there. Middle age is when you're sitting at home on a Saturday night and the telephone rings and you hope it isn't for you. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, the, this is the one I've, this is the bad pun that I've always, I thought was great. I'm a conscientious man. When I throw rocks at seabirds, I leave no turn unstoned. Uh... <laughs> That was his humor. This I mean, he's a, yeah, he's a very strange guy. And he made a very that. big living on this. Mm. You know. Well, here's one for here's one for for Phil. Whenever you're wrong, admit it. Admit it. Whenever you're right, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that's an interesting way of thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So that's why. I mean, okay. I just had to, I had to throw a couple in there just to let you know. I mean, he was you know he's one of that. I don't know when he when did he die. Well, way back, I'm sure. Yeah. I can go on Earth. I can go on Wikipedia and find that. I mean, that's what's so great about the internet, you know. <laughs> but I mean, uh, you know, it was uh, sometimes you, you think as you get older that you make a reference, and everybody's going to get the reference you're making. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. You, you know, he I, died seventy one. Yeah, he was. Uh, I did he was this game. Known in I did this, this game with Larry Bubbles Brown, in which he asked me about a bunch of people that were in this almanac that he had of famous people. Mm. And how many did I know? And then I, he would name them, and I'd have to kind of give some description of who they were and what I knew about them. And yeah. I, I was about 99% correct. But the Yeah, names, you did an amazing but, job. But on I will, would imagine yeah. that anybody under the age of 50, most of those names, they never heard of in their life. No. You know, yes, Jeff? No, I couldn't believe. I, I don't know what you were, 95%. Or even more. He said 99. <laughs> on on uh, Barry on that uh, show, and and you were terrific. But I got to admit, I hardly knew half of those people. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you, uh, like for instance, he stuff. came up with one he thought I, he would just get me on, stump me on big yeah. time, was Joe Frisco. Now... I, I've heard the name, but I don't know from where. Anybody ever hear, ever heard of Joe Frisco? Okay. He was a guy who worked, uh, who worked uh, clubs and the vaudeville and whatever, and he was, uh, he was a comedian mm -hmm. with a stutter. And the reason I knew him is my father loved him, thought he uh -huh. was the funniest man alive. And so when he, he said Joe Frisco, I said, of course, a guy with a stutter, he told jokes. I think he was in vaudeville. I think he... We're comedy clubs. <laughs> and, and, and Bubbles is like, whoa. <laughs> bu bu Bubbles was like gobsmacked that I knew that. Yeah. You, well, know. you know. And it's you not know, that you I, have a connection. That's, it's you not know, that that's I, the thing. And, and, that's where, and if it hadn't been for my father, I probably, even though at my age, would not have known who Joe Frisco was. <laughs> you know? but it, there's also one other thing, and I find this is a problem with kids today. There we go. The number's really low again. What? Yeah, it went down. Yeah. Renee left. She was chatting for a while, and she said the wind got bad, and then I, I don't uh, know she what's left. happening now. There, it's going even lower. Where are you people going? I'm not even going to post this show tonight. Fuck all of you. I haven't seen Renee at all. Does she talk at all about what's going on yeah, yeah, over on the Big does. Island she with does. all yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, she does. Wow, yeah, well, I have a friend that lives She's in, on the uh, Kona side. Wait a minute, Patrick yeah. has a... Oh, that's right. She's in the, on the Big Island. That's right. Has a point. My friend, I have a good classmate friend of mine who Patrick lives Patrick has a point to Honolulu, make. Patrick, she, can you hear me, John, to me all the time. John, when I talk, do you hear me? Yeah, I do now. Uh, oh, well, I mean, because when I butt in, you don't seem to stop. Uh, because oh, Patrick, well, I didn't hear you then. <laughs> Patrick has his hand up. Oh, please. That was fine. I, I, I mean, I was curious to hear about Renee, too. Um, anyway... I was just watching the news, and I just, i don't know if anybody's seen this, but apparently the Ayatollah of Iran mm -hmm. is calling President Trump on Instagram. There's a photograph of the Ayatollah reading, uh, what is that book, Fire and uh, Fury? Fire, fire and yeah. Fury, yeah. He's reading Fire and Fury, and it's a picture of the Ayatollah with the book in his hand, and I guess it posted on Instagram, and he's trolling Trump or something. I just <laughs> thought I'd put it in there because I thought it was funny that 
you know, somebody who you'd never guess would have a sense of humor might be doing that just to fuck with somebody else. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, the, hey, guy, the, know guy, your enemy. the guy who's in a lot of trouble in Iran is is the prime minister, basically. Because he's mm -hmm. been the guy who's been going along with this, let's get along with America, let's uh, sign a peace treaty. I mean, he was the guy with all of this. And now that this whole thing has, you know, Trump has pulled what he pulled, his job is in jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Because and, and what we'll get is somebody who's like a hardliner, and then that's not going to be happy for anybody. You know? True. And uh, yes, Patrick. I don't know if anybody remembers, but when Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was the president, um, he got his ass handed to him by the Ayatollah publicly over something. And I don't remember what it was, but it was a public shaming and embarrassment. And Ahmadinejad, basically, he wilted like a little flower because the big hand of, of the Ayatollah came down. I mean, even though he was president, the Ayatollah runs the country. So, mm -hmm. you know, and so yeah, you're I, you're right. This is probably the same thing that's going to happen here. Is there's going to be a public shaming, and this guy's going to go away. My favorite Ayatollah was Ayatollah Yusso. Ayatollah oh. Yusso. Uh, Ogden Nash would have been proud of me. There you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, right. boy. Yeah. I don't know. Henny, I don't know. Henny Youngman. I don't too. know where the, the audience is going tonight. Are we doing something wrong here, folks? Don't know. Uh, we're just having a friendly conversation. They want more of what 20. we had last night. What? 20. Right now, 20 viewing. Oh, uh, I, I get 18 here, but that doesn't matter. Oh. All right. I, don't I, should, do, I should turn like, off the uh, video stream just to say fuck you to everybody. That's what. I <laughs> right, yeah. There you go. What? I don't. I, I, don't, I, don't, what else, uh, I, I don't need this, right? New is happening here. You know. Yeah. Know. You know. I don't need. I don't this. know. Well, I still want to get. I still now that it's warmer. I still want to get over and see you and and uh, and 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 the girlfriend. Yeah. some point grab 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 a brunch or something it's you know we're we're in the same town the same city and i haven't it's been years and i haven't seen That's i see correct. them here on, on online you we're know maybe miles away not that far away miles away <laughs> from each other yeah uh, mm -hmm. uh yeah i was uh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll do I, that soon we have to we're, you know. we're gonna check what the heck <laughs> on the other hand my uh my news break uh yeah, even people watching it while we're on the air here. That's how boring I guess we've gotten tonight. Oh. Well, it's time for a Henny Youngman joke. Here it is. My grandmother is over 80 and still doesn't need glasses. Drinks right out of the bottle. <laughs> okay. Boom, boom, boom. Right. <laughs> Henny, Youngman, Love it. Henny Youngman was the worst uh, comedian ever. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, made it, he, made, he, he, made a, he made a career of it. He made a career out of being bad. <laughs> uh, well, here's one, here's one for you, Alex. I take my wife everywhere, but she keeps finding her way back. Way back, yeah. <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah. This is good. Henny Youngman, hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, there's, a, there's another guy that about the same era, you know. Uh, as as Mr. Nash was there, you know, but yeah, but if not in the same league. There was oh, something no. I I just always found Henny Youngman to be, you know, he got funny as I got older. He got funnier because his stuff was so bad that you laughed at it because it was so bad. Yeah, well, uh, look at this. I've been in love with the same women woman for forty one years. If my wife finds out, she'll huh? kill me. <laughs> kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. That's right. good. One liners, right? Is that what the yeah, thing? yeah. Yeah, he was like, he was like, called him the king of the one liners, but uh, right, he right, wasn't. Right. I, 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 I'll tell you, there was a better comedian that was a one liner comedian. Uh, and I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, he, he did the voice in, uh, in uh, 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 Reservoir Dogs. He did the announcer. He was on the radio in Reservoir Dogs. You know what I'm talking oh. about. Uh, yeah. And yeah, this guy, yeah. this guy was was the really the king of one-liners. This guy did one-liners. 
Look hey, who, hey, Renee came back. Look, look who's here, ladies and gentlemen. Ms. Volcano. Yep. Ms. No, it's Madam Pele is the one who's giving us all sorts of help. Ah. How do you know that Pele is a is a female? <laughs> it's a volcano, man. It's a red. You it's know. erupting. Yeah, it's erupting. <laughs> Have you never been around a woman like a 24 hours after her period starts? Because I just want to cut your heads off. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. No, actually, so in, in in the heritage here, which is Hawaiian heritage, Pe Pele has always been a female, and their deities, they they're both male and female. So they and it isn't a singular kind of thing. So it's it's nice to see, you know. Now you wrote something on our uh, on our chat room here saying that if you could take a picture, the sky is yellow, and so is the water. No, it's gray. Gray. They're both gray. Yeah. So the because of all of the vog, it, so everything I normally show you, yeah. you, you can't see past the trees in front of me. You That's it. You, all you, the rest. You, wait a minute. Did gray. you just call it vog? It's mm -hmm. vog. Volcanic vog, right? <laughs> yeah. Boy, I that's that. really that's really bad, Renee. If you because you're on the coast, right? So uh, and I'm in the north area. Yeah. So what's happening? Yeah. So this past 24 hours, the the wind has been coming across the east side of the island, swooping back up, going up the Kona side, and then bringing oh. it all the way up to us. Let me let me, oh, so lovely. let me ask you an indelicate question: What so kind of a fucking moron builds a house near a volcano? <laughs> hey, by the way, the Lilani estates that is currently have all of the rifts or the fissures in it. Yeah. The last eruption was before I was born. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. But the, the, the class, the word here is the last eruption. OK, <laughs> well, and it actually, so the last eruption flow. I mean, is that how they in, sold in the houses? Vicinity. Don't worry. The last eruption was, you know, 40 years ago. No, no, no. The last, and it was 700 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> but it was, the, there's been more current eruptions. They just haven't been plowing through homesteads. Right. What's up, little, little eruptions, <laughs> minor eruptions. By the way, yeah. you calling just made our numbers go up. So there Patrick, we go. Yeah. So, yeah. Patrick, what's up? Yeah, Patrick, what, what, what do you want to ask? Uh, when you said, what kind of an idiot build? Well, I was standing on lava. And I was at Kilauea uh, in 2002. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So <laughs> there, I've got a picture of me walking on uh, some lava. Well, it, 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 um, it's dry. It's hard. But, yeah. I mean, it's not bright red, no. <laughs> we were at Kilauea, and it was, we could only go so far because of the sulfur and that. Mm -hmm. But, I mean... As I'm watching this thing on TV, I'm thinking, you know, I was there, and what if that big just went off while I was standing there? What didn't now it be and, saying, what kind of a moron stand? <laughs> yeah, I would. Right I would. There. I would. What kind of a moron? What kind of wheelchair-ridden moron? I walked. I was walking at that point. That yeah. was one of the last times I walked. Uh, 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 here, uh, I'll get to you in a second, John. But here's okay. here no. here's here's the point. Uh, that thing, that volcano, has yet to really blow. This is just well, a lot of lava. They say it's going to blow soon because all that steam that's coming up now is going to start making boulders okay. fly through the air. We we've had a discussion about where the top of In the volcano second, is, where the blowhole part is, and then where these eruptions are. Oh, say blowhole so again, would you slowly? <laughs> anyway, and that's actually not what a blowhole is. Oh, so it's okay. really bad that I used I'm sorry. it. I had a Harvey so Weinstein moment there. Excuse me. Yes, go ahead. They're they're pretty far away from each other. Like uh, yeah. a, a good what maybe fifteen twenty miles. All yeah. right. Yeah. So what happened was is as all the lava is breaking through the fissures and flowing down through the um yeah. through the estates, it's it's actually lowering the fountain of, fall, of lava that goes through the blowhole. And so as that drops, there's a crust of stuff that covers, okay, that covers over it, and it sits there until enough pressure blows, gets underneath it, and then blows it. 
And that's what the ash was from. The, the actual lava tube dropped below the water line and it solidified across the top of it. And once that happened, they built enough pressure up and it went papooey. Mm -hmm. Now, the whole issue is, is that it's not that kind of volcano. It's not a, you know, it's not going to be, you know, look like, what was that? Tom St. Hanks? Helens or something. Yeah, it doesn't look like that. It's as long as it's continually oozing somewhere, it's better for it than if it's actually being stopped up. It's a shield volcano. Um, yeah. I, what, what I wanted to say is I used to, I used to own... I used to own land in Hawaiian Acres near Curtistown and really? had it for yeah, a bunch of times. And I, I never worried about the volcano because we were way out of uh, zone one. Uh, I'm just looking at the lava danger zone now. And it clearly says Lilani Estates and Kapoho are in zone one. So if mm -hmm. you build there, you're like asking for trouble. And, right, uh, and, and, and if you yeah. listen to the the, law, the natives, they were all saying the same thing. It was yeah. an inexpensive, great place to live. We knew that Madame Pele was going to show up again, yeah. and she's just going to show up and do her thing. And that's exactly what they believe. And the only thing that we can do is is get supplies down to them and and hope for the best. But you know, it's a decent sized subdivision, and they're decent houses. So it, it's going to be great when it stops. But we might it, it might stop might stop spewing stuff out of the, the the top of the volcano, but it's going to continue to do. What I'm worried about is the massive rift. The the fissure zone is about yeah. about like this wide, and that yeah. to me means that if you start at the top of the volcano, that this whole side could actually drop. Ooh. But that's not how it works. That's just how my brain works. <laughs> So. Well, I, th I think what fools a lot of people in this case is that, it, you know, what's erupting are called rift zones. And you never know when it, how it's going to manifest. They, th it starts with little cracks in the street, and then uh, that, that stays like that, and then smoke will start, sulfur dioxide and steam will start coming out of there. And then it expands, and it gets bigger, and, and on some of these zones, the uh, lava uh, will actually just start pressurizing out i know why that yeah. i know why the numbers of people watching are going up because we're talking about cracks and blowholes now <laughs> <laughs> i thought it was because patrick had his picture up <laughs> oh, I, I, there you go that's uh, patrick uh, walking yeah. on lava mm -hmm. and, right. and you well, wonder I, and you wonder why he can't walk anymore <laughs> all those all that lava crusting your feet there right <laughs> yeah that's the last uh Last actual photo of me standing upright, oh. or being in an upright wow. position. So, wow. yeah. kind of cool because you were in Hawaii. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> Jeez. That's before it's you went into. Walk the, that's before you went in. Yeah. The, before you went. We don't in. have. We don't have those kind of volcanoes on the west coast here. They're all strato volcanoes, which. You know, are kind of. Don't have these volcanoes, so thing. it's definitely yeah. a different kind of volcano. And what I if you were listening to science friday is there's another freaking volcano just off the south end of Hawaii, of this island and pretty soon they think that the lava coming off of kilauea is going to make it over to the other volcano and they're going to bridge it and then we're going to have an addition to our island well actually mm -hmm. where did i hear that that maybe it's the hawaiian islands that actually keep getting larger because of volcanic activity maybe it's japan or somebody like that 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 uh, Iceland that, that, that is oh, yeah. getting larger because uh, I know that well who is it China who is building uh, uh, more land in the water so they can enlarge China yeah that's right yes mm -hmm. yeah right. as if they need any more right. yeah. 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 yeah 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 so they don't have enough <laughs> yeah. yeah I I climbed. Uh, a, an active volcano back in the late 80s that you can't climb anymore, Popo Catepetl in oh, Mexico. Yeah. And uh, we actually made I mean, it up that, to the isn't summit. Isn't that Popo Catepetl? Po oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I, because the way you pronounce it, it sounded, Popo, like, it sounded sure. like something Michael Jackson might have taken to put him to sleep. <laughs> so when we got to the summit, the wind was blowing so fiercely, we had to go on all fours and use our ice axes to anchor down. But I looked inside the crater it was wow. the, the most scary friggin' thing I've ever seen in my life. Bigger than uh, Pompeii. 
Pompeii's mm. crater, and there were all these yellow, smoky fumaroles. You could smell the sulfur coming out of it. Ooh. And and the past few years, Popo's erupted. I mean, really dramatic, massive explosions. And uh, you know, you can't climb it now. You know, it's well. It's this is the limit. way the Earth remolds itself, reshapes itself. Uh, it's also the way that the Earth's going to react to us not treating it well and trying to clean itself off. I mean, an ice age was a way of cleaning off the planet, you know. Once the ice age dissipated, the Earth was renewed and the a core was taken off the planet. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, in, uh, in the one thing we can count on is that we can do anything we want to to this fucking planet, but it's going to win. Okay. Yeah, yeah, mother. And, and you know what? I was listening to somebody today, and they were talking about, oh, hey, look, Florida's having high t uh, um, king tides, and I'm just like, wow. If we'd only listened to Al Gore like 30 years ago, that wouldn't be that much of a surprise, would it? Fake but news. no. Fake news. So it just amazes me how how you guys, how, not you guys, how people don't think that Mother Nature's going to kick our ass. And it's fully yeah. capable of kicking our ass, and it, oh, yeah. and it's yeah. kicked itself many times. Hey, the the uh, uh, U.S. military is now freaked out about Kwajalein. Uh, I, I was there in '85 with Greenpeace. We were protesting, uh, you know, the uh, nuclear uh, weapons and so forth in the Pacific. That's where the Rainbow Warrior was blown up, by the way, that year. Yeah. Uh, in That's New Zealand, and now. The main Kwajalein missile base, where all their uh, uh, tele or rocket telemetry is located, is in danger of uh, flooding because of global warming. The sea level has risen, and I, we went on there. We we hung, uh, we jumped over the security fence and hung a banner on one of their giant radar domes that said "Stop Star Wars," because Reagan was the president at the time, and we thought Star Wars was a waste of money, but. The Kwajalein is the longest missile range in the whole globe. They they launch missiles from Vandenberg Air Force Base, and they go, I think, four or 5,000 nautical miles to Kwajalein in the Marshall Islands. And, uh, you know, that now the military is freaked uh, out. You know, so I, could never, I could never figure out why Ronald Reagan wasn't sued by George Lucas. <laughs> yeah, right. He used to say, uh, well, it wasn't... Did he ever refer to the uh, anti-missile uh, system in Star Wars, or was it other people that did? I, I can't yeah, remember. I, I can't remember. That was a Jerry remember. Brown thing, right? Uh, uh, well, I don't. But it was a, it, you know, it, it was a terrible thing to do to a good movie. You know, it was to name <laughs> a, 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 a method of destruction, Star yeah. Wars. So we found out. So you guys all know I'm got a tour booked for the top of Mauna Kea and we found out that we are going to go to be able to go into the Canadian French Hawaii observatory and take a tour. Oh, good for you. B yeah, make so a little movie and pu put it online somewhere. Okay. I'm not sure the government wants me to run around in there with a camera, <laughs> right? Well, you could always <laughs> ask. You know? There you go. I could. Yeah. So we're going to spend the day on the mountain and then we're going to get to go inside. So I'm like psyched because oh, I didn't groovy. know which observatory we were going to get let into. Now how do so you get up to the top of the mountain? You drive. Oh, OK. As long as you weren't going to climb. They, they put you in a rubber band thingy and then they sling you across to the top of it. And then you drop right down where the observatories. Are. So you kind of go splat against one of the observatories. If you hit five observatories in one shot you get bonus points oh really hey you know that Mauna Kea is one of the most dangerous uh, mountains to climb if you're also a diver because yes. a lot of people have died going up to the summit then they go they drive down and then they go diving and nitrogen narcosis hits them a lot faster because oh, yeah. uh, because of the uh, altitude change they don't understand how that that affects their bodies and you can you can walk up to Mauna Kea. It, it's not a bad hike. It's it's actually not a mountain climb. It's more going up a, a trail. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Or you could drive up there. And uh, it's spectacular, you know. It's... Well, now, see, because I've been down at sea level for two years, I'm thinking about taking a couple of rides up, up to the top 
staying for maybe a half an hour, walking around, see how it does, come back down. I don't want to get up there in July and get altitude sickness. How high is the altitude? So, Do you know? Uh, yeah. 13,000. Yeah, 13 uh, something. You should, yeah, 13,000. You, 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 yeah. you should be okay. Although, I got to tell you, I climbed Mount Shasta once, if you can believe that. Uh, yeah. Well, no, what it was, I was working at a radio station in Klamath Falls, and I and this other guy decided we do a publicity stunt because I had heard that every year they had a race to the top of Mount Shasta. So I figured, you know, why don't we just have our own little competition to get to the top of Mount Shasta? And I, we, we, so we, we made the bet, and we were going to see who could get to the top of Mount Shasta the fastest. So I beforehand, I kind of scoped the situation out, and I talked to a local guy who ran the run every year to the top of Shasta. And uh, I said to him, uh, so we're going to do this race to the top of Shasta. And he said, why? <laughs> and I said, well, because we thought it would be fun to do that, to take a, you know. He said, uh, do you know what it's like? I said, no. He said, I said, but you do it every year. He says, look at me. You know, and he was this big muscular guy. He says, yeah, I can do it. I don't think you can. And, oh, and, oh, and wait a guys. minute. But by, uh. by this time, we had been locked in to do this thing. So we got up early in the morning and we started climbing up Mount Shasta. I got to tell you, it, this, it's not so much a mountain as one rock on top of another. <laughs> okay. So for every Do you feel like a goat. <laughs> well, no. For every two steps you take, you slide back one. What What month did you climb it in? Uh, yeah, good, uh, yeah, summer. Oh summer. well, all the snow's gone. Yeah, all yeah. the snow's so gone. It's right. E it's easier to climb it uh, when there's snow. Well, all we over. brought. Well, there was some snow at the top, so we brought crampons with us just in oh, case. Oh, okay. But anyway, all right. And as you go up the mountain, all of a sudden boulders start flying down the mountain. Oh, mm. nice. And you can't, you, you, you really can't jump to one side or another. You have to wait till the boulder gets really co close and then jump aside because you don't know which way it's going to go. <laughs> That's know? correct. Yeah. Mother it, Nature it, wins. It's, it's like playing that game. <laughs> hey, on, on Renee, the, uh, play, uh, it's like playing Plinko on The Price is Right, you know. With your body. Uh, with, your, with your body. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we, I finally, I get to almost to the top. I got within. I think it was 50 feet of the top, which you think would be really close, but 50 feet is still a lot to go. But it was getting late, and we had to turn back before the sun went down. So yeah. I'm sitting there at, uh, I think it was 12,000 feet, and oh, I was a smoker in those days, so I, I, hadn't, had a I, hadn't, I hadn't had a cigarette all day, and I, I pull it out, and the guy who's leading us says, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I said, why? He said, I just wouldn't do it. I said, fuck it. I'm doing it. I lit up the cigarette. I took one puff. I never got so fucking high in my life. I mean, my head was just swimming. And by the way, when you get up to that height, it's very hard. It gets harder to breathe. I mean, yes, it, it really worried. is much more difficult to breathe. Uh, Renee, there is uh, something you could get your doctor to prescribe for you uh, for altitude sickness. It's called Diamox, D-I-A-M-O-X, and it works. I've tried it, uh, you know, cool. climbing big mountains. It, the chemical name is acetazolamide. But That's the, okay. I'll take yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's Diamox, and, and it works. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah, that'll be great. Yeah, I was going to. So what happened is, is uh, I've been doing my yoga religiously and now I'm going to start the cardio part of my workout. But um, they sent me a letter saying altitude sickness, <laughs> not funny. So and, and it's a whole yeah, eight. Yeah. It's a, eight and a half by 11 paper about how bad this is and how you could actually die yeah. from it. By the way, it. let so, me tell John Rockwell, John, turn your camera off and turn it back on. Apparently, you're not kicking in here. Yeah, hey, some I got a question. A bunch Scott, of people. Do you have, gonna, do you have yeah. a bomb happen in one of your shopping centers or banks or Denton? Uh, I don't know. I was I was out on a road trip today. Oh, that's so right. You did. Know, no. Yeah, well, so no, what? Are you, by the way, are you there, John Rockwell? John Rockwell, are you there? He's just spinning. 
Yeah, it's been, right. right. Scott, yeah. today was your day for your hell of a drive. So I'm was, sorry it, was, to hear was there a bombing or something where he okay. lives? Is there? It. Was there? Oh, now wait a minute. Who just? Uh, we, who did we just lose? Okay, he's back. Yes, uh, Jeff. How high is uh, Mountain Shasta? Mount Shasta. Uh, it's about if I fourteen correctly, something. I fourteen think, nineteen. I think, I think, I think it's thirteen yeah. something. No, it's fourteen. Really? Yeah. yeah but here, oh, here, yeah. here, here is what I wanted to do. Okay, because I have a really terrible sense of humor. Uh, there is a group who lives at the bottom of the mountain called the I Am Society. Are you familiar with the I Am Society? They wear nothing but pastels, and they are a religious group. And I'm they sorry. believe that there are crystal temples on the mountain, and that if you go looking for them, you will find them. Okay. Uh, can can there be a Chanel cult instead oh, minute, of a no, no, pastel no, no, coat? No, no, cult? It's called. <laughs> Hi there, John. Good. I was frozen Thanks. out here. My modem started flashing all over the place. Yeah. My fault. <laughs> and, anyway, okay. oh, that's spectrum for you. Anyway, we'll anyway, anyway let me finish my story. Oh, please. So, uh, the I Am Society believes, okay, that the they will that that a Black Panther lives on the mountain. And the day that Black Panther has sex with one of their people, Christ will be reborn on Earth. I swear to you, that is what this group believes, and they've been there for years. Look it up. You can find the I Am Society, I Am Society, online. I wanted to go up with a stuffed Black Panther <laughs> and come Take back and say, shots, huh? "Look what I shot." <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Is Bobby Seale still alive? I mean, I don't know, bring him they, up there. They, He's a they, black panther. They have was. stories about how they've gone up the mountain and they've seen the crystal temples and uh, they've been ah, met by yeah. people who live on the mountain. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about, John? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there, there are uh, re people who believe that there is a civilization yes. living inside the mountain. The Lemurians. Lemurians, yeah, yeah, right. My lord, yeah, I heard of them. Yeah, what did, did that name work? Uh, man, that sounds like something the first Star Trek came out with. Mm -hmm. You know, like the green lady listen, was an Lemurian. Listen, Marine. listen. <laughs> Star Trek <laughs> was way ahead on everything, including the fact that there was a race called the Kardashians. Mm -hmm. uh, so oh, there you go. <laughs> you know. Yeah, a frivolous they, race of still is. A, fr <laughs> a frivolous race. <laughs> yep. I really wish they were the ones that lived inside the mountain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, in the magma chamber. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> no. Oh, so, did I tell you guys I have a lava tube on my property? Ooh. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, Jesus. Good thing for bad thing. <laughs> Well, okay, so back down there, it's a bad thing. Up here, it's empty. <laughs> Can you go inside there? Can you crawl inside there? Uh, well, part of my body can. <laughs> not everything will fit. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. not a very big tube. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Okay. Jeez. There we go. More sexual references, tube. Uh, I'll, yeah, bring in, I'll bring in the listeners. Yeah, I'll Dark, bring in the listeners. dirty, and there's probably we, we something we talked bad about, We talked about hey, holes. We got, we talked we got 30 about, people. What? Oh, yeah, we just hit 30 people. Wow. Yeah, you see? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Am I thrilled? I already have like uh, almost 180 over on the the one show I did like nine hours ago, my little 10 minute or uh, eight minute newscast. Uh, which, so if I could give a weather report, just to let everybody know. Uh, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. Okay, here, here, here's Renee with the weather. Go ahead, Renee. <laughs> so the Hawaii weather report for tomorrow is the trades wind, trade winds are kicking in. So all the islands will be beautiful except for ours. So if you're going to Honolulu, Maui, in Kauai, any of them, they're all solid. Well, why won't and the trade winds take them. care of all the smoke? It No, it is going to. It's going to, the trade winds are going to kick in and blow it all out down south to us. So every island is going to be exactly, trade winds. exactly, you know, you're always heard about this in exotic movies with Dorothy L'Amour, but what is a trade wind? Trade wind? Oh, what's the easiest way? So I don't know which direction they're trade. It's a cooling wind, and I think in our case it comes out of the north. And why is it called? Why is it called a trade wind? I have a feeling it's because the uh, 
It was what the uh, sail sailors could Philippines. use to get over to the to an island like you Hawaii might, from, yeah, yeah, if yeah. it's a if it's like a if it's like a wind coming out of the east or whatever. So it was a good and then sail. There wind, made, there made, trades that are on below the equator. The wind's going it, the other way. It made sort of like El Nino and La Nina. Look, it, look it up, like Scott. That. You're there with your computer. Look up trade oh, wind. John hit it right on the head. I agree totally with what he said. Well, yeah. it isn't a matter of agreeing with me. He'd be lying to us like a bandit. No, no, no it's logical. <laughs> it is very logical, and I believe it. You know, you, I, it, I got it. it, it it's it, a wind blowing steadily towards the equator from the right. northeast yeah. in the northern so, hemisphere. That helps okay. you get okay. down We've been joined by Tim, by the way. Hello, yeah. Tim. So it's going to come in and blow it all the way out for all everybody. All There we go. <laughs> No, it actually passed us. So everybody, oh, it's all going down. Yeah. So someone on the chat room said they had a friend in Kona. Their weather is going to be greatly approved tomorrow. And I really wish, um, Alex, would you please give James my contact information in case something happens down there? Well, he, I don't have a way of getting a hold of him until he calls me. In which case, if he calls us, I'll, uh, I'll uh, somehow get him the information. I'll find out how to give him the information. Okay, thank you. And you have another friend on the island? No, that, no. Oh. No, I don't okay. have any other idiots who chose to live there. <laughs> <laughs> but it's funny, James and I picked the same island. Yeah, we, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, what are the chances of that? Well, I guess they're 100%, aren't they? No, no. Yeah, well, there's there other are quite a few islands. islands. People, yeah. people always go, blah, 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 happened. What are the chances of that? Well, I guess it's 100% because it happened. <laughs> right. Yeah, All right. It's pretty good. So my weekend's going to be looking for the military ship. So I was trying to figure out what a 43-ton Navy vessel was, and it's not a Navy vessel. It's a 43-ton LSV. Well, along which with is our sexual terms vessel. tonight, is it perhaps called a frigate? No, it's, it's a carrier. It's a Landsat vehicle thingy. Oh, I see. And so um, I didn't know the Army had uh, boats, Tim <laughs> ships. Is, Tim, Tim is sitting there quietly lurking on his telephone. Hello, Tim. Did, didn't the Army used to have more boats than the Navy? I don't know. Really? No. Or maybe, Mayor, I don't know. Maybe. Some kind of... Weird. I don't think so. But, but they do have quite a few, more than you think. I Yeah, I was kind of yeah. surprised. Because they won't ride on the same ship with the Navy people. <laughs> Well, there's a reason no, for that. I was with the Navy, and we don't want to be on the same ship with them. <laughs> no. Oh, great. We got, we got, got, we got enough trouble with that. We had enough trouble having jarheads on the ship. You know? Mm -hmm. That's what we used to call it's them, too. Different worlds. It's different, different classes of people. Yeah. Well, and, did you see and, and by the we, way, the jarheads hated us, too. So it was did like, you see that we fired 10 jarheads? Marines? Really? They Why? got caught doing some pretty nasty drugs. No, 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 seals. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they were Navy SEALs. And what were they? Well, what kind, well, what yeah. kind of drugs were they doing? Well, it, it doesn't matter. It wasn't disclosed, but it was illegal for them to be doing them while on duty or on active duty. So they were relieved uh, and discharged. I believe dishonorably discharged. Okay, let me get this straight. It's okay for them to kill people, uh huh. But it's not okay for them to do some drugs. See, right. and that was my statement. <laughs> and they're from, I believe, Little Creek, and not from um, San Diego. I believe well, I they're th from Little Creek side. I, th I thought they'd get rid of them because they gave uh, John McCain a compliment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, famous Marine, Ollie North, is now president of the NRA. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. And, and are you guys fo uh, following the kids, uh, excuse me, the young adults of... Uh, of uh, my ma life matters. They are blasting him, and I think it's wonderful because they're throwing his his military record, or excuse me, his what? life record after military at in his face on Twitter. You, you know, so and he's nice. he he's calling them to the terrorists. Can you believe that? <laughs> yes, what an he, idiot! He, he was a gun runner. Yeah, he was a gun runner. Yeah. Not a legal gun runner either. No, I mean, mm -hmm. it's very illegal. For the Contras, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. In fact, in fact, yeah. in fact you know, he, he was so such a bad person. Didn't Fox get rid of him? That's right. Yeah. 
He still yeah. had his little historical show and or whatever. Fox, I mean, Fox, that was, Fox know, would have had the I think Hitler. it's all in reruns Fox now. would have been happy with Hitler as a consultant, you know? I mean, <laughs> so for, for you to lose your job because uh, they don't like you uh, as uh, Fox is, you know, is pretty horrendous. So there's some joke in here where uh, the Cohen guy was working for Novartis. Novartis. Yeah. Novartis. And, and there are birth cards. <laughs> they're one of the, the major... <laughs> They're one of the major manufacturers of our birth control pills. Yeah. And uh, and who even wants this guy's opinion in anything that he's in? Well, no, he's here, here's qualified. what they, they wanted. He claimed he could give them access to the president. And in the case of the pharmaceuticals, they're coming up against problems with the government, uh, especially Novartis oh, yeah. was. AT&T is looking for a merger. Uh, what was the other company that uh, that uh, was so they thought they favorite? would uh, grease the wheels exactly of this AT uh, yeah AT and T was you know because of the merger uh, and uh, I'm trying to think of who else there was one other and they had some what, kind what, of business didn't Pfizer buy Monsanto yeah but that doesn't have anything to do with this uh, Novartis so, oh but yeah. uh, uh, you know, but they said he didn't do shit for them. That's what they also said. You know, they paid <laughs> no, but like AT and T paid him a million bucks, and they didn't get anything for their money. That, that, that's not true because there's a nonprofit organization. It's like Common Cause, but I forget their name. But they're going after FOIA records, showing that there was meetings with these people. Yeah, that's I know there were meetings, but but AT and AT and T said that they had paid him a million dollars. He didn't get them access, and they wasted a million bucks. That's incorrect, because some of the execs showed up at some of the meetings. They're working on putting reports together no, now. No, they meetings, but not with the president. No, no, no not but, with the president, with the right right people. No, though, but uh, with there the, was meetings, but, no, of course, but, with no, the Russians. No, but the access was supposed to be to the president. Well, but no, because the president doesn't do anything. What do you think you about, the by the way, that, any, uh, quickly, anybody, because you're all old farts on this show, except for Patrick, uh, and, and maybe Renee to a lesser extent, although she's... Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah well, you know. Just, uh, you <laughs> I'll know. take that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I don't know uh, when the hot flashes come, but let me know. Uh, anyway, uh, it's uh, uh, the, the whole thing with the ph pharmaceuticals, pharmaceuticals today with Trump. Was that a no non-starter? That whole oh, yeah. proposition today, to begin with, how do you not include Medicare when you're talking about negotiating drug prices? Who's the biggest user of these drugs? In our country, too big of a club. He can't use a big club against his uh, campaign donors. Yeah, but I mean, he, he said, oh, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna lower prices." Well, how exactly? And then he didn't give any examples of how he was going to do that oh why would he he doesn't have to show these people facts they don't live on facts there's no proof required to be this jackass yeah yeah <laughs> that's cool <What? laughs> i mean there are people who do get lower prices for their people like i belong to a, a now a pharmaceutical thing called uh what's it called uh Oh, God. Um, is this with your Afra? Yeah. Uh, huh? What? The Crips or the Bloods, no, one of them. No, no, no. <laughs> no, but it, 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 they did a thing about them on 60 Minutes last Sunday that there was one drug they didn't lower the prices on, and they gave them a bad time for it. Uh, and, um, uh, huh? Scripps, Scripps. It, it, it graphs, graphs, something, graph. Uh, express. Uh, gra scripts, uh, express yeah, scripts. Express yeah. scripts. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Scripts. Express scripts. Anyway, Express scripts has so many people. Do you know it's the largest uh, uh, pharmaceutical insurance company in the business? They've got a just incredible right. amount of people. Well, they can go to somebody like Novartis and say, lower your prices on this drug or we won't do business with you. Mm. And so they've got buying power. You know, and it's the same kind of buying power, by the way, Medicare has. But Medicare is forbidden, but when they did Part D, was forbidden by Congress from negotiating with the drug companies. So, forbidden again, by the lobbyist. It was the th lobbyist. Forbidden. Thank, thank the Republicans when you see one. Yeah, well, I, you know, I thank them every day for giving me material. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Hey, go. Alex, Alex, you should advertise the show on AARP. You know, they oh, God. put out a... Ma- <laughs> no, I, 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 come on. Actually, that's not bad. It's that's not a, a bad good concept. idea. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. they do a big light up on you. you know? I can't get my skirt to work. <laughs> <laughs> you I advertise want... on NRA TV, do you? How, how do I get on uh, the Skype? What's yeah. a Skype? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I called Apple again and told them they've got to stop this. They really need to stop this. Stop what? That I don't want them broadcasting NRA television on Apple TV well, because no, that's hey, just I, bullshit. I'm all for them doing that. I have it on my Roku and I have it on my Apple TV. Uh, you know what? So it turns out this year that that NRA meeting in Dallas-Fort Worth, more people attended online than showed up. Wow. Well, the point is, See? the point is that I don't, I don't fight something like that. I believe there should be kind of a democracy where where that sort of thing is concerned. If they're saying you build an app, we'll put it up, you know, if it meets specifications, and we're not going to decide what politically is correct or incorrect, then I I just you know I think that it's it's important for them to uh, allow that to happen. You don't have to put the app on your on your Apple, you know. Uh, there's also one for Scientology, which I put on because I want to see what it's all about. But, you know, you don't have to put it on there. It's on Roku. I have it on my Apple TV. Uh, but you don't have, nobody's telling you you have to do it. So why petition Apple for that, you know? As long as, long as there's transparency. All they care you know about, the all from. they care about is that, A, you're not porn. Okay, they won't allow that. And that your app meets their technical qualifications. Like with Roku, I had to pass technical qualifications for my Roku to, to work. However, I have, it was easier to do Roku than to do Apple. Now we do have, by the way, people should know this quickly, we do have a, uh, a Great American Broadcast app. Just type in Great American Broadcast at the uh, uh, Android shop, or what is it, the Google shop, and you can download uh, the Great American Broadcast onto your uh, app, yeah, onto your uh, Google device. Okay, your cell phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, uh, you can get the live programming there, and all everybody's programs are on there. So, have have at it. But I forget <laughs> to tell people that because it's been there for so long, and we just got it fixed recently, so that it gets the live programming. So go have fun. <laughs> it's a, you know, uh, we're we're everywhere. And we still get the same 30 listeners. So, you know, it, it's, it really doesn't seem to matter. I figure I spread myself too thin. If I didn't, all I did was put it just online where people had to hear it. I'd get 100 or 200 people. But, no, it's spread out over this entire universe. Uh, hey, we're, Arp, we're, every single nursing home in America is going to be watching the show, Alex. You're going to get, like, 20,000 viewers the next, the next week. <laughs> you know what? If you do that, you should take your wife's uh, show along with you. Yes. You mean my, my, my ex wife? Your ex wife's show. Sorry, well, you're she, right. Well, and I'm well, happy. No, that, bring the, wait she, a minute. His she, current wife is beautiful, and, she, and no, she should be on the show all the time. Well, no, but the you, thing is, the thing is that she is not, uh, uh, that's not really a show. That's she and I talking for the purpose of this show. Then but she, she posts, has a website. She blogs about. She can yeah, blog and right, read right. The blog. But she she puts right. that on her on her on her website so people can yeah. see it and also plugs the show too. Hey, there's the music. Whatever that means. I can't see you, Patrick. So we couldn't see you. Wave goodbye. Are you there, Patrick? Yeah, yeah, turn on your camera just so we yeah so you can wave goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only thing I really want you to do uh, because uh, is walk. Huh. Uh, it's, it, it's not walk. Uh, thanks to thanks to John Perulis <laughs> and thanks to Jeff Stein and Ch- thanks to John Rockwell. Thanks, Tim. P- appreciate it. Scott Boddicker, yep. big thank you to you. Patrick Blazik, thank you. Renee Collins. And at last, we finally have a lot of people watching us. I don't know <laughs> what happened. For the last 20 seconds. Yeah, the last 20 <laughs> seconds. Uh, and thanks to Phil for not being here tonight. Okay? Uh, everybody, wave a big goodbye, would you? So that... Uh, uh, we, they can all see your, like, your shiny faces. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll see you next week, guys uh, and gals. And be safe, Renee. Uh, you know, we don't want you to, we don't want to say you fell into a big uh, volcanic hole somewhere and disappeared from the face of the planet. Hey, I'm Alex Bennett. Up next is uh, the intersection. That's followed at uh, 
uh, 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time by the by Connections. Uh, next Tuesday, we'll be back on again, but before Damian uh, Chaplin with the exchange at 9.30, we'll be on at 10. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, if you see her, yeah, tell her I love her, okay? Bye. <laughs>